Well, happening today, health care workers, county officials, and family and friends of overdose victims are raising awareness. They want to make sure no one else dies from a fatal overdose. CBS State's Regina Yurita is downtown sharing their stories. Yeah, and this morning there was an emotional display of purple flags placed around this grass area where I'm standing. Uh, they've been taken down at this point, but I can tell you that there was 1,203 purple flags, each one of them representing a person who died because of an overdose. In fact, we talked to one mother who lost her son because of drugs. I talk about it because it not only honors his life, but it may also save somebody. And that's the goal. The goal is always to bring awareness and to reach somebody out there, even if it's just one person. Uh, it also helps keep my son's name alive. And there's people who they, they have to have a voice, and I could be that voice for them because it is devastating. And that is Carrie Gonzalez. Her only son, Eric Gonzalez, died of a fentanyl overdose at 21 years old. She says one day he made the tragic mistake of taking drugs that he didn't know were laced with fentanyl. Carrie says she talks about her experience because she believes one mistake shouldn't equate to losing a life. Now, according to the most recent report in 2023, there were over 1,100 people who died unintentionally because of a drug overdose. 749 cases were of fentanyl poisoning. While the county says they did see their first decrease last year compared to 2022. It is still far too many deaths. They continue to work with harm reduction organizations to distribute naloxone. They want to see better progress and continue with a sharp decline. Officials say it starts with educating people about Narcan and helping people get into treatment. So back out here, we know that Narcan is a key component when it comes to dealing with this epidemic. We, they actually had a booth uh, earlier today showcasing the importance of Narcan can and how that small package can easily save a life. That's latest here outside of the county admin building. Also, thanks back to you guys.